Welcome back to Nebuchadnezzar, episode 35. Been in, been in a good spot here uh, for a little bit, and now I'm trying to, unfortunately, build a second temple. Not, not a good idea. Looking at the, uh, the new stuff that I've actually put in to level them up, so I've started to import papyrus here, and... Uh, I'm setting up the walker here to uh, to deliver, and you're seeing these uh, villas go up because I need more uh, workers for the villas to set up the additional industries that I need. So uh, the ornaments are also being delivered, and I'm making 94, and I need 96. So that's not quite enough. I'm going to have to uh, do a little bit of rearranging over here. I'm thinking about putting one over there, but I'm like, you know what, I really want it closer. So I'm going to go ahead and just build it up there, take the one out, and then uh, I should have enough now to service this entire population. The question is, can I get it? Can I get these over there quick, quickly enough? And uh, the next step is to level up the uh, base population because I'm out only 4% uh, unemployment, so I'm going to have to... Uh, set up some more uh, some more production of beer. A uh, little concerned regarding the trade, but uh, now that I'm at 637,000 coins, I'm still bringing in a lot of trade, and uh, that's that's great. But in order to ramp up the the beer um, production. Uh, I had to get more villa workers, and in order to do that, I had to start giving them the ornaments and not sell as many, affecting trade, of course, and also importing papyrus, which is not cheap. So uh, I had to deal with that as well. Um, but I'm still making money every, uh, every year on trade, which is great, uh, mainly due to me selling a ton of beer and not pushing it out to the population just yet so um, this is where I'm, I'm trying to <laughs> fiddle around with the um, irrigation and also uh, trying to get another warehouse in here uh, so that I can um, put in uh, put in some more beer and uh, also uh, change it up so that the ivory um, comes into the one section. I just got a request for meat, so I was able to deal with that. Right. So I'm getting the, uh, the beer to be placed in there and getting it sold. I'm getting ivory into the other... Um, warehouse the one thing about the warehouse is that they if you do not if you turn it off uh that's for the port if you turn off a warehouse it will not sell or uh, move the ivory out uh, if you turn it off actually the, the for for the for some reason the uh, industry won't use it as well so that's just one thing to keep in mind about warehouses that you need to have them uh, activated or turned on basically for that good if you want that good to be used because you can see I want to get the ivory only in that one warehouse and then so I don't have it turned on so as soon as I turn it on all the industries start using it and so I can just uh, turn it back off so now I've got ivories going into two different uh, warehouses and I got beer going into the other two and with ornaments going into one and dates going into the other and here's the ornaments. The ornaments are actually getting um, pushed out very nicely. Uh, the papyrus, not so much. As you can see, there's just, uh, there's just a shortage. Uh, the question is, is why is there a shortage? And is it because there's just not enough caravans that are pushing them? So I'm gonna I go ahead and build another caravan and get those guys to ship it over there as much as I possibly can. Yet another request for tablets so for those who are playing this mission uh there are early requests for tablets and 
there's only um, one house now that uh, that doesn't have, or that's a few houses that don't have papyrus, but they're, it's getting a lot better, let's put it that way. So now I'm at uh, max. So just uh, for those who are playing this mission, you know, I would just uh, suggest that you build some clay mines and get some tablets going. You know, fairly early. It's not a bad thing to do. All right, so I'm checking out the, the basic uh, population here, making sure that uh, uh, I'm getting things uh, going in there. And I, I am, which is great. So I pretty much have a sustainable thing. This is where I realize, hey, that looks just like that. That's not right. Okay, well, that's bad. <laughs> so guess what? I don't have a library or a palace, which is going to be a palace. So I have to dump this monument. I got to put the palace in. And I notice, oh, my gosh, look, it's so big. There's no way I can fit it in there. So I'm going to have to rearrange uh, this production area. in order to uh, to build that thing so yeah that's pretty much kind of where I was at but anyway uh, I'm bringing in now 30 36 thousand of trade uh, per year and I'm making 19 thousand profit uh, I'm well up over a million coins now um, which is fantastic so uh, I'm feeling pretty good about that my yeah, yeah, my relationship with the other cities are doing all right, so that's good. Uh, so you're seeing here that I've uh, expanded my linen um, so I can export as much as I possibly can. Um, the The villas are looking good. The trade um, is looking pretty good. I'm making quite a bit of money. Uh, here are my, um, my houses. I have a few houses that still have um, a little bit of problem. I have not uh, given them the, the beer and the tablets yet. So I'm trying to figure out, you know, what what's going short? Why is it going short? Um, but it looks like that now it's pretty sustainable. So I'm at 22,254 population, 1,131 prestige. Over in this area is where I'm gonna go with my, my residences. Um, because I've, I've already got the, the, the furniture going in over there. I have all my warehouses up there. Uh, the meat is going to need to go over there as well. So, um, but I'm going to import whatever I need over there uh, for those residences. I'm also going to produce everything I need over there. So now we can take a look at the library being built. Still trying to figure out why there's a couple of them that are a little short, but uh, they immediately um, get served, so I'm not too worried about it. I am at 1% um, unemployment. Only 37 workers um, are looking for a job. That's not much, so I'm gonna have to get them ramped up, but in the meantime, I'm just cashing in and look at that. Look at my bankroll just go up. And the villa is, one villa went down, went back up. So it's, it's pretty, it's, it's looking pretty good. All right, so now that I have enough um, bricks, I am going to put in the, uh, put in the tablet makers because this uh, library requires tablets. It said that the over 30,000 books or 30,000 different works were kept in this library. So, um, makes sense that we need tablets to go in there as well. It's the first time we ever had anything other than bricks go into some kind of monument, which is kind of cool. So I just replaced all the brickworks pretty much, or most of the brickworks, now all of them, with the uh, tablet makers. So now I'm just making a bunch of tablets, and there we go. And the last bit of bricks are going in.
Nice looking library, huh? There he is. And that's completed. So that brings our prestige up to 1,352. And now I can go ahead and I can um, get rid of the uh, of this uh, this tablet stuff and and move it because I really don't. The only reason why is because I don't like it next to that nice library. <laughs> I mean, seriously, that's the reason why I took it out. So there you go. Now you can see that I've taken it out and. Uh, that's where I'm bringing beer in. I've put the warehouse there, and you can see the beer go into the warehouse. Um, also, the tablets are going into the other warehouse, and I set up that uh, library over there. Or, I'm sorry, uh, what is it called? Um, administration? Tax administration or something? So you can see all my tablet workshops are over there, and I'm getting caravans to, to bring them in. I... I'm trying to time it so that the caravans will uh, continue to keep that warehouse stocked. But anyway, that's uh, that's that was that's what the library looks like. It's looking pretty good. So yeah, things are looking okay. I don't have much population um, for there that are unemployed, uh, so I'm going to try to get this. Um, this road in here so I can bring the tablets in even quicker they're just not getting over there fast enough and so I'm trying to um, to do that I do have I don't have any bricks that are being made so I'm just gonna go ahead and set up a real quick brick uh, production line over here so that I can fulfill that request seems like a good thing to do so I can turn those on and off as I need them. I, I have enough workers, which is great, so that I can do that. I'm going to set up another uh, caravan over in this area um, and take the, the beer over to the um, warehouse. Uh, and I'm going to set up another one so that I do the same. Just try to get that over there so that it, that warehouse is never empty. So I'm going to monitor it and see. Yeah, it, gets, it goes up. It goes down and then it goes back up and it gets taken and then it gets filled pretty pretty rapidly there so that's not too bad the tablets though that's another issue so this is what i've tried to do here this is just uh, i don't know if this is the reason why it seems like that it is because the proof's in the pudding right it worked i put a caravan next to the market i put a caravan next to the destination and i have them shipped back and forth and it seems like that helps keep the the warehouses full um, if you put them all on one uh, in one like a, at the destination it seems like they all want to go at the same time even if you try to time them space them out uh, by waiting it doesn't seem like that really works too well but what does seem to work too well is actually putting a caravan at the destination and also at um, the production area so that's what, I, what I've tried to do here to keep these warehouses full. So I'm just uh, using up the work. Now, now that we've got tons of workers, over 3,000 available, I'm just setting up a bunch of um, caravans in order for them just to ship the, bun ship the goods. My bricks are done, so I can go ahead and send those off, which are great. But here, I'm just trying to keep these warehouses full. And I'm just monitoring them now to see. And look, the tablets are pretty much going all the way down, almost to nothing. But then it gets refilled. The beer is pretty much the same thing. It's pretty close. So that's why there's only maybe one house or so that are um, not getting served. But it's not bad. And now I'm up over 4,800 workers. Uh, it goes down a little bit and it goes back up. But... I mean, it's 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 pretty close to being completely sustainable, and that's what I like to see in the city is just you know sustaining the population, so I don't have to worry about workers going wrong, uh, missing out on workers. Here we go. So I've set up my residence area, and you see that um, you know they haven't uh, gotten any goods yet, but I made one market for. Uh, the furniture and one market for the meat 
and I'm starting to bring in the uh, the furniture and the meat. I need a 63, it looks like. Uh, so these 22 uh, residences need uh, 63. Uh, it might even be um, 21. Uh, I have to take take a look and see if I made it, if I had enough. No, I did not. See, I, I, I believe that I actually only have 21 residences. So, 21 residences take 63. 22 probably takes 64. That's what I'm thinking. I think it's just rounded up. But, uh, maybe not. We'll have to see. But anyway, yeah, so now you can see the residences starting to level up because I'm able to bring in... Um, I'm able to bring in the, the, the meat and the furniture. Um, the beer, I have set up another hauler to move it in so I can just get it in quicker and, and not have an issue there. I'm pretty close to 100% sustainability. And it looks like it's the tablet once again. And it's just one or two or three residences. Um, so it's, it's a few residences that old, that sometimes get there. Once again, the tablets are sitting over here in this warehouse. Um, I'm not I'm not happy about them just sitting there, but now that I've I think I put a caravan to just service that one warehouse. So I got a little milk shortage, but it immediately gets uh, gets handled. So I'm almost 100% sustainable here. Now, now I am. I'm 100% sustainable on all three different uh, housing. And as soon as I say that, bam, I get hit with, uh, with a beer shortage. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's all about now at this point figuring out like the workers. Like, Can I now just have one worker, one walker basically, one seller sell to one part of the population and then the other seller sell to the other part so that's what I'm doing right now is I'm just I'm saying focus just you focus on this area and the other one focus on the other area and hopefully we can get it um, completely sustainable so I don't have to worry about this this part anymore It's like just one home. It's just uh, the couple there. There we go. So now I'm doing the same thing with this walker and saying you focus over on that area and then you focus over on this area and and try to just you know delineate don't go just keep on servicing this population don't walk don't be making long walks it looks like the long walks are the problem is that it's just too it's too long of a walk and so people run out by the time they get back but there's not much i really can do about that <laughs> i mean it's I got to make, you know, unless I have multiple uh, shops, basically, multiple markets. This is where I put in the 22nd uh, residence. So now I have a nice, um, nice block of residences here, 22 of them. And I'm able to really start rolling now uh, to try to get this mission over with. So, as you can see, no money worries. 2.2 .2 million coins and I'm still bringing in more. Uh, I'm able to fulfill all the requests now. So, uh, building a lot, a bunch, a lot of industry um, really seemed to, to pretty much go in my favor. So here we are now at uh, almost 30,000 um, people and uh, the residences uh, are, are looking really good. Um, what I'm gonna need to do in order to get to this, uh, this next level 
is put a, uh, an observatory in. And I think I'm going to put it up over here by these, these hills. Makes sense, right? Have, have an observatory there on the, uh, on the mountainside. There we are. And then we'll have a little path. There we go. And we'll set up the walker. Easy path right around. And so I've started bringing in uh, gold right there. You can see the gold and also the stone. I've set up the workshops here for the seals and also for the gold jewelry. And now I'm going to have to set up the pottery and import dye and then put the dye on the pottery in order to make the, the luxurious pottery for these guys. So I have uh, 405 clay being output at this point in order to service um, this entire city. So a lot of firsts, a lot of big numbers, obviously, um, very big numbers. Uh, I've got over 30,000 people now, and my prestige is at 1,800. It's, I feel I'm really good that if I get those things up to a glorious residence that I'll be able to um, meet that prestige number without an issue. And I won't have to level up the villas uh, anymore. So you notice that the villa, popula the villa population is at 3% uh, unemployment. 207 people are looking for jobs, but that's that's not bad. Um, these, all these, these uh, glorious pottery makers are all aristocrats, so they're being taken from... Uh, the residents population, you'll notice I'm down to 16% unemployment there, which is not bad. Um, it's fine. I've got, I've got enough. And so there we go. Check this out. So I'm going to have to um, start importing uh, dye into this warehouse. Yeah, you'd think that I wouldn't be using all these warehouses when I first built them. I'm like, well, all these warehouses, I'm just going to build them all. And guess what? I'm pretty much, I think I'm using every single one of them at this point. So... Yeah, when you have this many goods going back and forth, uh, that's exactly what happens. So now you're seeing uh, is that I've got the dye being um, distributed into the warehouse, and I'm also going to get the um, the pottery. I'm almost 100% sustainable on these guys. It's just so close. Um, but I want to see these things coming. There's my jewelry being dispersed. And then the, the pottery, there it goes. And there's the first time we have a, uh, a glorious residence. So now we're seeing those things uh, level up. We're getting up to 15. And the prestige is getting close to the 20, 2050 that we need. And we're up over 2,000 prestige for the first time. We got 19 of the 22 serviced we have a couple houses that still need tablets although we got enough tablets in there we should be seeing um, we're, we're just not quite getting enough tablets in now we're up over 2100 prestige and it looks like we might have just finished this mission yes we did so we got our 22 glorious residences, and there they are. So take a look at that. So we're up over 30,000 uh, population, up over 2,100 prestige, and we have 22. We're almost 100% sustainable on all three levels of housing. Uh, very close. So this was a, a very good city, and you notice that I'm up going up over 2.5 million coins. Uh, so this this mission actually was a lot easier than the previous mission, believe it or not. Um, not sure if it was because of the way I played it and kind of um, got trade to come in and made a ton of money there, so I didn't have money worries. But it does even seems like it, I didn't have to make 2.5 million coins. Uh, it just seems like this was a bigger map that it had. Um, I also didn't have any import worries or export worries. It seemed like I was able to export things fairly quickly that I wanted to for money, like the copper and the copper jewelry going to the same place. That was pretty good. So um, you'll notice that I had a little decline here. 
uh, in terms of housing, but uh, I'm able to ma actually um, make it back and things are looking really good for sustainability here. Looks like I might have a little shortage of meat. So if I went ahead, go ahead and make a little livestock farm here and get a couple of butchers. Then I actually should be able to um, sustain this population even better, especially over here in the resident residences. So if I just make a couple of um, carvers and uh, and get this meat up there, and I can just ship it directly over there. I'm a little bit shy on the villa population, about 63 people short. So. Um, I'm going to get this, uh, this meat production over here, um, set up, get that shipped over. So now that I have a really good, um, a, a better flow of meat, I should actually be able to sustain these residences even better. All right. Well, I hope you join, uh, the next episode, which is going to be the follow-up, a bonus footage. You see, I'm just running it really fast here to see if that meat, um, actually helped and uh it does so yeah stick around for the next episode i'll show you bonus footage of this city continuing to to flourish and we'll see you there